Allen inside the three-point line. Almost, but it rolls out. The 76ers trail by 10. Siakam passes to Harden. Back to Siakam. Pass to Embiid. Over Lopez. And with that one, the lead is trimmed to single digits. Embiid's got 29. Now it feels like the other four guys have disappeared time out, time at this point. Out. He wants to be the one to get them back. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Checked in for Milwaukee. Philadelphia also making some changes. All reads checked in for Joel Embiid. And Kelly Oubre subbed in for DeAnthony Melton. On defense, Philadelphia. Lopez outside. Holiday, the pass to Middleton. Lopez outside. Here's the three. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Lopez has got five points in the quarter. And Lopez more and more has no fear from shooting behind the arc. Here's Harden on the wing. Defended by Middleton. And with that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from James Harden. Playing from behind right here, not easy, but he is answering the bell. Yeah, doing anything he can right now to get his team to cut into this lead and give them a chance. And Antetokounmpo gets it to go. Giannis just plays so hard. What's not to like about the approach he has game in and game out? Harden against Middleton. Pass to Richardson. Reed a screen on Holiday. Shot clock at five. From about 16. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for him. Here's the captain. 13 points in the game. Giannis dishes to Lopez. Hucks passing it around. Here's onto Takumbo. And another basket for Milwaukee. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That'll be his second foul of the game. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Some changes here for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Giannis under the Kumbo. And it's Malik Beasley in for Drew Holiday. to Oubre from downtown and he's good on the three ball. Oubre's got five now. Good touch there. Oubre outside the three-point arc and knocks one down. 
And there's the pass to Beast. Now here's Crowder. The train. It's hauled in by Richardson. Here's Siakam. The rebound by the Bucks. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Portis in the post. Read on him. Three-pointer. Crowder. Good. And the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got his seventh assist here tonight. Looks like Crowder feels like the green light is all his on that shot. And when you look at the veteran Jay Crowder, Brent, what impresses you most about his game? Well, I think he's just accepted his role, Kevin, a high-energy guy who plays tough defense, and that's someone who's going to help you out, especially the way he can stretch the floor and occasionally knock down key threes. And he can answer with the best of them. Siakam stealing the thunder there. And the natural is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Second team foul. One oh five left here in the third quarter. Launches a three. And something that Harden continues to work on. That kind of defensive effort makes his coaches and teammates proud. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Siakam. Richardson against Middleton. Good work defensively by Richardson. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Oubre outside. Feeds to Reed. Kicks it out to Harden. Four on the shot clock. Another three for Philadelphia. Three points. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowed. Now here's Middleton. Crowder is screen on Richardson. For three, Middleton drills it from outside. Middleton's got 16. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. Bucks lead by eight. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great hands, great vision. That makes great things happen for your offense. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Milwaukee leading by eight. So with Holiday sitting on the bench, this is who Adrian Griffin has out there. The big men on the floor for him. Giannis and Portis. Malik Beasley out there with the captain. And it's Crowder in at the three. Portis finds Crowder. Here's Giannis. Reed covering. Here's Antetokounmpo. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Giannis has got ten points in just the second half. And Jay Crowder moving it to the open man. To Ubre. Bamba a screen on Beast. Poke loose. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Uh, Ubre right there, just not afraid to take it at the defense.
He misses the free throw. I think a lot of teams around the league are looking for this kind of player and this kind of versatility that Kelly Oubre shows off and right now his teammates are feeding off that toughness. And he sinks the second. Milwaukee leading by nine. And here is Adedekumbo. Outside Portis. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Passes it to Ubre. And stolen by Portis. Crowder feeling it out a bit. Out to the right wing. Easily outside. to the captain that one falls through it's his sixth make from the four this game now six for ten and it's all about the release when you shoot the float to the paint here's Oubre and he converts the layup well it's the golden age of point guards and Patrick Beverly trying to show that he belongs amongst them great awareness on that one We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Crowder kicks to Beasley. Hands it from downtown. Beasley's got his first three points of the game. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. You get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Avanti. And another three for Milwaukee. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Tucker is screen. And Beverly kicks to Uber. Reed a screen on Beast. 4-3, Oubre. Another three for Philadelphia. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. The captain passes to Crowder. Outside, out of the Kumbo. And the double up out of the Kumbo. Pucks passing it around. And a wide open look for Portis. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Beverly dishes to Oubre. The pass to Tucker. There's the triple. Crowder pulls it in. And so it's Crowder with it. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. And they double up on a Dekumbo. And it's Beasley finishing it off. And Beasley at 6-4, able to rise up and throw it down. Philadelphia's gone 1-2 from three-point range here in the fourth. Oubre picks to Beverly. To the inside. Oubre outside. Reed a screen on Beast. Pocket six. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on Malik Beasley. Oubre just being aggressive, and that's going to pay off on some free throw shooting attempts here. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And the Bucks making a change here. Holiday's checked in. Then for the 76ers, Joel Embiid. He's checked in for Bamba. Richardson comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Patrick Beverly. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Great to see Antetokounmpo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but the foul. 
At the line for the box, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. He's perfect from the line this time. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The 76ers trail by 17. Melton with the ball. MB. Dishes to Reed. And the dunk by Reed. Using those sight lines to find an open guy. MB always ready to deliver. Pass to the captain. Doubled by Oubre. Richardson against Crowder. 18 feet out. That one drops for him. And yeah, he's not messing around. He wants no part of a comeback in this one. Well, he's grabbed a tee and a blanket because he's putting this one to bed. Melton against Holiday. Now Melton. In the corner, it's Richardson. A three. Milwaukee with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. And they double up Giannis. Portis, the pass to Crowder. And another three for Milwaukee. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. The 76ers trail by 20. Melton passes to Embiid. He dishes it to Oubre. Here's Embiid. Let's it go with a three. Melton, no good. Left side, Crowder. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Seven foot shot and another basket for Milwaukee. Down the stretch, he's been flat out. Awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Melton against Holiday. And, of course, you were known as Bones in your playing games, but what were some of your favorite NBA nicknames? Oh, Kevin, I've been so fortunate to be around the NBA for so long. I go way back to names like Iceman, George Gervin, or... Dr. J, Julius Irving, or Pistol Pete Maravich, one of my favorite players, but is there any one better than Magic Johnson? Great pass from a great leader, Drew Holiday. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Richardson the pass to Tucker. Back to Richardson. Kicks to Tucker. Just five to shoot. Here's Melton. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Now here is Holiday. Lopez, a screen on Harden. The shot by Holiday, no good. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. High post, Embiid. And they double up Embiid. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. Allen's checked in for the captain. Now, into the lineup for your box. Number 12, Grayson Allen. <laughs> 
And Tucker kicks to Richardson. Tucker is screen. And here's Harden for three. Another three for Philadelphia. Three triples in the first half. Three in the second. Boy, do they add up. Harden against Holiday. Allen, that's good. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Harden against Holiday. To the middle. Tucker inside. And the rejection by Giannis. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Here's Tucker. Defense is right there. Shot clock at five. There's the drive. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Second person. And some hoop and harm for P.J. Tucker on that play. At the line for the 76ers, P.J. Tucker shooting one. Good from Tucker. And P.J. Tucker, one of those guys that we talk about as a journeyman throughout his NBA career, but there's no doubt that he's made positive impact and touches wherever it is that he's played. Down it goes. Nice one there from Anadokounmpo. Giannis has got 10 points in the quarter. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Embiid against Lopez. And they double up Embiid. There's the pass to Melton. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. Takes a three. Another three for Philadelphia. Come on. Joel Embiid. I mean, seven-footers are not supposed to shoot like that. Allen the bounce pass. Lopez kicks to Holiday. Allen passes to Anadokounmpo. Takes the three. Another shot. He lays it in. Giannis has got 39. Well, he hasn't missed yet, guys, and the defense is scrambling for answers to stop this hot start. Embiid the screen. Shoots from 12. And the 76ers tack on two more. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Yeah, the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Here's the lob at Takumbo. Stolen by Tucker. And the slam dunk by Ante Takumbo. Yeah, I don't know how many defenders are stopping Giannis when he's up like that. And here's Harden. Pass to Tucker. Inside. Lopez with the steal. Holiday against Richardson. Is it to Holiday? He kicks to Middleton. Six to shoot. Lopez a screen on Melton. Here's Allen. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Bucks. Look at their number of assists. You know, they didn't get stuck in those one-on-one -on -one situations, and, and they got the ball to the guys with the best matchups. Easy drives, open jumpers, and great ball movement. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Giannis Antetokounmpo. It looked like a couple times they might be wearing him down, but not the case. At the offensive end, he was just devastated. Finishing strong. This is how you want 
to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Pass to Embiid. Looking to end the run. Good on the three-point shot. Embiid's got 35 in the game. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Holiday finds Middleton. Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Harden against Middleton. Harden outside. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much. Giannis, you have said in the past you have even more untapped potential. So how did you put your fingerprints on this game? I'm just here to do whatever it takes to help my team win. Did a great job executing, moving the ball. And uh, this is what we do. This is what we do. We play together and uh, whatever we do, hopefully we can get a win at the end of the day. Well, it certainly turned into a win tonight, man. Thanks. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. And now, we present the New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo.